a struggle between my two passions, science and being a professional aerialist. They're both very demanding careers. My name is Elizabeth Fraley. Uh, I am a PhD student and an aerialist, and I live in Los Angeles, California. The hard thing about living in LA is that there's a lot of traffic. On average, I'm driving for an hour and a half or two hours a day. I fell in love with science when I was an undergraduate. Um, I took some biology courses and I just became enamored with the way that the brain worked. Being an aerialist is a lot of work and it's a lot of training. Um, it's pretty painful, especially on silks. Uh, the friction will actually burn your skin and sometimes even burn through your clothing and hurt you. So it takes time to really understand how much friction a certain move needs. Also hoop, um, it's a metal hoop, so it, it'll just bruise you and just scrape your skin. But you know, you have to make it look beautiful. And that's kind of the secret to it. Yeah, experiments change day to day. I am sectioning a mouse brain, a whole brain that had been frozen to minus 80 degrees, putting it in a cryostat, which is basically a deli slicer. So we can section through the brain and we can see different parts. Um, and then, you know, we can use those sections for various different experiments. Science usually 10% of the time things work and 90% of the time it doesn't. But it's that 10% where things work that it's just so inspiring and makes you realize you could discover anything. The thing about my life is that there are never enough hours in the day to do all the things I wanna do. Sometimes I worry that I might not become top of my field if I keep doing both. And sometimes I feel this pressure to choose one or the other. Maybe living my dream is being able to do both and to have them both in my life. Someone once told me that the greatest thing I'll ever achieve will be the day that I figure out how to combine the two, and I'm still working on that. <laughs>